to turn on recording. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Okay, good. Um, edit items, and I think I think you just want sales, not edit sales. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Okay, now um, there's a small problem here, but we're gonna yeah, let's actually fix this. You actually want to stay in this menu forever, right? Unless you you actually want to exit back. So yeah, it would uh, break or something. No, no, continue is fine there, but the whole print menu thing, you probably want to wild through around the whole thing. Want to what? Oh, so, sorry. Before line 13, you want while true, so you mm -hmm. can go forever. I mean, obviously, they'll have an escape option, but unless they want to... mean while true? Mm-hmm. Wait, do I, like... Like put them together, or do I? You have it already. See, in your main function, you already are doing that. So look at your main function. Main function. I think it's below this one. Def main. None. All the way down. Your the 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 function you wrote earlier. That one. You see where you have a while true at the very top. Oh, okay. I see. Right. Oh. oh. Yeah. There you go. And this you don't have over. to do the same thing for the top here, is it? No, you want to do it just after the password because once they've got the password right, I assume you're not going to query them for the password every time. So after line twelve, but before line thirteen, you want to put the while through there. And now you need to re-indent those lines, but I think you can do that automatically for you. Re-indent those lines. Right, because now they need to be indented one level because you're inside of a while true. Oh, you mean like make it like go to the right of it? Yeah. All of those everything inside the while true has to be uh, the other direction. But it should be able it should be able to format that for you, right? There is an auto format in this. Uh what are you using? This uh this uh, is PyCharm. 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 There should be an auto uh, formatting tool, right? I have no idea how to op how to turn that on. Do you do you have any idea? Usually, I'll just press a button and it'll format it one time for you. Uh, what is what is under tools? I could do I a could... quick Google search. Okay, it's a good idea actually. Uh, what's the official word to like arrange the, the code properly? Format code. Oh, I see. Oh, so Pipe. that's what the 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 moderators in Reddit keep telling me to do. <laughs> yeah, that's a different kind of formatting because when you put something on Reddit, it tries it just mangles it. In this case, you have to format because Python requires uh, that uh, things be spaced correctly. Yeah. Control alternate shift L. Jesus. Okay. Well. Okay, control alt shift L. Reformat the whole file. Yeah, I mean that's it. fine. It didn't do that. <laughs> Excuse me. It didn't do anything. It did okay. some things to the others, but the while true was this supposed to be here? Wait. That's fine. Yeah, it's, it's where it's supposed to be. Uh, do this then. Select all the lines from 16 to 33, not but not line. Okay. Like Select that? line oh, 33 and then hit tab. Come again? Oh, select the lines from 16 to 33. Mm -hmm. And now hit tab. Oh, there we go. I see. OK. All right, now we're in business. Um, Do I backspace this again to put it into line 15? Yeah, I mean, if you want to get rid of line, just no, 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 no. Just go to line 15 and hit delete. There you go. Okay, so while true, we're going to do this. Okay, sorry, something just popped up on my board, but that had nothing to do with anything. Okay. Um, 
and then at the very end, um, you see after you have all the if choices, yep, you can do like at line 33, you could do something like print uh, invalid choice or whatever you want to print there. Because that means they've chosen something. No, no, but 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 outside of the choice four, so it's going to be one level to the left. One level, so here. No, it's going to be the same level as the other ifs. Okay. So print wrong choice or invalid choice, or whatever you want to put there. Okay, and then you want to do a continue so they get a chance to do it again. Okay, so now if you run the program, it won't actually, I mean, it won't let you actually add items or whatever, but it should at least the menu should work correctly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't have it, you don't have it written yet. Yeah. So, Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Um, obviously, in real life, you wouldn't store your password inside the code, but I mean, we're just yeah doing an experiment so here. Um, so go ahead. if it's in the simulated, uh, if it is a simulated program, how do you hide the password? I think, or I think, probably not necessary. Just I mean, what you could do is you could you could hash the password and then check the uh -huh. hack. Uh, if you want to do that, we can, but you might want to add it as a, you know, maybe add later feature, just like yeah. with the change feature, because it's not really super important right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and write add items first. So we're going to write a new function called add items. Mm -hmm. Where do I, which line do I add the, the new function? Um, you can do it either above line eight or below line 36. It doesn't matter where it comes because you're not going to call it until it's defined. So I see. So I'll just do it here then. Sure. Sounds good. Oh, wait, I think I'll just do it at the top. It's defining stuff, right? Defining a function. Yeah, defining a function. Yeah. Okay. So how do I start? Def. add items, the name of the function. Oh. And then Do print I put it because it has no arguments. Yeah. And then colon. Um, My bad. Wait. Do I do that? Yep. Hit return. Okay. Carriage return. Um, and now print, you know, whatever it is you need to print. Mm-hmm. So if I print, uh, let's say, what does this print do? So like it prints the prints the menu inside the add items, is it? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, good. Remember, you need print. Uh, you need quotation okay. marks and all of these things. Print item name. Hmm? Okay. Oh wait, do I? I think this one should be. After these should I be in the inside the item name, right? No. And I think you actually want input, not print, because you want them to type in something. Oh, yeah. So what do I print here? Item name is fine. I would input item name would be fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no. Oh. The function is input, not the, not the printing. Oh, so I don't use print here. No, you don't use print. You use input instead of print. Okay, my bad. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Wait. You just you can just replace the word print with input. Okay. And now you want to actually use it. So you want to say name equals input item name. You're going to set the variable. This is going to be on line eight. There you go. So I don't know why it's graying out your variables, but it, it works. So don't worry about it. Okay. So now you will type in the name and that'll be assigned to the variable name. And now you need to do that for the other variables as well. Second variable would be, let's say, cost. Okay. Priced. Cost okay. price. Okay. And then what else? Come again. Oh, what what other variables do you want? Mm, in add items, right? So like yes. you want to add the items, so the name, the cost. I think that's it. Well, look at your JSON file and see what other things you have in there. Oh. So you probably want, the cost would be the amount it costs you to, you also want the sales price and the cost price, quantity and the type. That looks like the things you're going to, you're going to ask them for. I see. So I'm going to have to add it to the, in, I'm going to have to add some more variables here. I have to add cost price and. Yeah. Cost price and uh, sale price. What 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 do you call it? Like sale price, retail price? Um. Yeah. Retail. Let's see. I would call it um. No, 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 no. Uh, wholesale and retail are are the words you might use. Okay. So I'll go. Since wholesale is quite long, I'll just say cost price and then retail price. Sounds good. You might want to hit return all the time so there's a gap between your add items and your admin console function. It'll be a little bit close together right now. The funny thing is I'm pressing return and it's not spacing out. It's just Price going shift down to line 11. Try shift return. Shift. Uh, it's not working oh, either. Oh. That's interesting. Try to do a right click and do insert line. That might be an option that you have. Um. Do it on the left menu where the numbers are. Like go to, yeah, there, do a right click and see what you can get. Nothing. Ah. Uh, That's fuck. really odd, hold on. What the hell? It was fine just now. That's really weird. Okay, let me try and. Well, it's not, it, you don't have to do it. I mean, it's gonna, still gonna work. It just looks kind of strange. Oh, yeah, actually. You see those little arrows there on that you have next to line eleven? Yeah. The little and arrow thing. Arrow. What do those do? What arrow thing? The oh, good. Well, there's line eleven. That little thing you just went over. That thing. Ah. That thing. Yep. Okay. Does that do anything? Or reformat the file, maybe. Oh, it actually, oh, okay. the options you had there was reformat the file. There we go. I still can't like voluntarily space it with return. This is odd. Try like save it and just like restart PyCharm. <laughs> no, no, no. Probably go to Google and ask um, PyCharm hard returns. 
then it should, you probably change something by mistake. Enter key. When I enter, my enter key is not causing a line break in PyCharm. When I enter at the end of the line, the cursor jumps to the front of the next line without causing a line break. Okay, that's definitely what I'm having. Mm -hmm. I figured that I had pressed the insert key in oh, the keyboard. Yeah. By yeah, I forgot about that. If you change, if you press the insert key, it changes how things get inserted. But maybe that's not oh, your. Oh, okay. Yeah, it works. It works. I think I accidentally pressed that button for some yeah, reason. Yeah. Oh, when I was backspacing. It, yeah. yeah, it does that in actually a lot of editors. Insert will change you from insert mode into overwrite mode is what it's called. So I see. OK, so that's the term. Weird. Right? Yeah. OK, now that you're back in insert mode, let's go ahead and add the other thing that we need to add for add items. OK. Um, no, I mean in the function add items where we are now, oh, line 11. Oh, yeah, OK. OK, now what else so, do we need? I think you had something called think, type. Type, oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, type. type. Whoever does coding for a living, and if I'm about to do this in the future, I respect mm. the amount of time that they put into this. It's just so, there's just so much lines of code. I can't imagine like for bigger projects, I can't imagine how long it takes for them to complete it. Well, I, I mean, if you really wanted to, I mean, we're not doing it this way, but if you really wanted to, you could take the four lines, the lines nine through 12, and you could combine them. Um, no, no, no. I'm I'm not complaining on, on how long this is. I'm just saying I I by doing this on my own, I'm I, I really re, I'm really starting to understand like how much um time people put in okay. to make like codes like to this. Learn. Well, I mean th this is learning. When you once you get used to it, that's much faster. Um yeah. so you I mean don't worry, but right now you're still learning, so it's slow. But you know, if yeah. you do this for a living, which I apparently plan to do, you'll knock out code like this within a few minutes this is yeah not really interesting i mean i don't want to say that in a bad way but this is not yeah um, it, it's difficult to basic do. actually yeah, yeah it's pretty basic um yeah you know when you want to start doing like net web sockets and networking and all that crazy stuff that gets a little bit more difficult okay yeah. so now it's you have sure. all definitely inputs. increase my respect for for programmers as cool. a whole <laughs> Okay, so now you actually need to build the item out of these four inputs. So we're gonna do, do you know how to do that? Um, no. Okay. Do I, but do I, do I change the inventory JSON file first? Like, do I add like cost price and retail price? Um, or later on? This is where it gets kind of weird because what you're trying- Because oh, this is intertwined already with the code, right? So if I change yes. it, it's gonna alter everything. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And the problem is that you've loaded inventory into, into memory, which is great. But now when you change it, it'll have to, you'll have to write it back to the file. Mm -hmm. And so by the way, make a backup of this file because we might mangle it soon. In fact, make regular backups of everything. Seriously. Yeah. I don't know if PyCharm does it right now. Okay. I don't know if PyCharm does that for you automatically. Uh, Emacs, my Emacs, I have it set to automatically back up all files I have open every 10 minutes. So I see. never for the 10 minutes to work, but you should also have some sort of auto save turned on because um, we really could very much break the things and you want to be able to get back to a, to a, you know, a known condition. Okay. There it is. Oh, save files if the ID is idle for 15 seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Actually, I think that's fine. Save files when switching to a different different application. Backup files. Is there an auto save though? Uh, 
Okay. This is the autosave. Okay. I'll just say I'll just set an interval of sixty seconds, I guess. Right, but that's only if it's idle. So if you're typing, it's not gonna. If you keep typing and you're not, don't let it idle. It'll, it'll, it's gonna. Oh, it's gonna. Okay. Before. You could set it to like five seconds or one second. Um, and that would, you're definitely going to be idle for one second every so often. So this should be fine. But some places, someone's have an autosave that says autosave every two minutes or whatever, autosave every 10 minutes or whatever. So you never lose more than 10 minutes of work. All right. Okay. Noted, noted. So now what we have to do is we have to create a new item. And that is, Go ahead and cut and paste one of the items from your JSON file in, into here just so we can use it as a guideline. This four? Yeah, that's fine. Let's see. We, and it's not it's not gonna work as literal Python, but we can we can create. Okay. So now what we want to do is say item. Okay, that's fine. We're actually gonna use that. Okay, that's Okay, good. Oh, you're actually going to use it? That's fine. No, we can do it either way. Okay, so now on line 13, item equals... Line 13. Okay. Do I do it on the same as... Wait. We're still inside do the I function. Do it inside a function. Okay. Yeah, we're still inside add items. So item equals... And then you need an open brace. Open brace. So I'm hey, brace. guessing it's... This thing? Yep. Okay. And so now we're going to say quotation marks, label, quotation marks. We're, we're creating a new item now, basically. Okay. So we're going to lay we're gonna the label field. So we're just going to type in the word label here. Okay. And then a colon after the word label. No, I'm after the quotation mark. You're basically going to make it look like line 15. Except instead of where it says one to coffee, you're going to put name. Do I do a double apostrophe or single one? Uh, I mean, either one works. Um, I it does well. No, we're not going to put it in the string name. We're going to put it in the value of the variable name that we just asked the user for. I see. So I so do I just do like this? Well, we need to put in the variable name name, right? Because we defined it on line nine. So we're going to set the label of this object to the variable name. Okay. So what what do I type? I just name. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And now we're going to do a comma and a space or return whatever you want. Do I put a comma here? No, no. Inside, we're still, we're going to create a new object. So it's going to look very much like line 16 through, oh, that, yeah, because line 16 through 19 were originally inside of braces. So now we're going to put in type. Mm -hmm. like well, that. It's going to be in quotation marks because it's it's a field name, like just like it is in Wanda Coffee. And now oh, we're going to assign it to be the variable type because we asked them for that too. Okay. The name. So I go for it. Oh, hold on. Type. Do I, so I put name? No, no, because that would give you the name variable. Okay. Right? So I So I say type. Yep. Okay. Type, type. Type type. It, it, that actually happens a lot when you name your variables the same as your field names. So don't worry about I see. it. I see. Okay. And now we need price. What does and... the cost? Oh, yeah. Now there's, there's two different prices, though. That's the thing. Right. So if you want to add them both separately, that's fine. Um, that, that means you'll have to change the format of your inventory, of course, but you know, it works. And I don't think you asked them about quantity. So you probably should go back and input quantity at some point. 
this one right here. Yeah. So I need so I need to make sure this there's so I need to write a code here that allows it to update the quantity. Well, if you're adding an item, if you're adding an item, it's you're not going to be changing the quantity. You'll just be creating a new quantity. Okay. Because right? you're adding an item, you don't have to worry about an existing item. Hmm. Okay. So you'll need to ask them for the quantity first, like you do in uh, so line probably between eleven and twelve. Oh, actually, you could do it after line twelve. Okay. Apparently I need to space it, okay. Yeah, it prefers it with spaces. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. Why is it, oh, it likes spaces between the the colon. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, now do you want to add quantity or, or not when you're adding a new item? Mm. Well, let's say if I'm putting like 10 cooks in, so I'd say if I don't want to repeat if I don't want to enter it repeatedly, so I, I would enter, the, I would like create a line which allows me to set the quantity of items I put in at one shot, right? At right. Time, so, right? Okay. so you would okay. do an input quantity, basically. Okay. Just like you're asking the for item name, cost price, retail price type, you want a, um, but of course you have to do it before you, you have to do it before you declare the item. So probably above line 13. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then, of course, you want to add it to your item. So we have label, type, price, and now quantity. Well, you probably want to name it quantity because that's on line 20. You already have it. You already have that field. Oh, yeah. You don't want to create a new field. It's confusing. Would, it, would I have to change quantity here or here? Or both? Uh, well, the very, well, no, you can just change it on the left side because that's the variable. Uh -huh. the right this, side, is technically like, this is technically the nickname, the displayed. Yeah, that's just what's displayed. That's what you show the user. It doesn't really do okay. anything for the program. Okay. So I would say quantity on the right side here, right? In this case? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. The field name is quantity. So just like you have it on line 20, it would be on the left. It would be in the quotation marks on the left. Oh, I see. Okay. No, sorry. 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 You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. What you did is correct. Never mind. Okay. The only problem is you see in your JSON file, you refer to it as quantity, right? Quotation marks yeah. quantity, but here you're referring to, to it as QTY. So you might want to yeah. change that quantity as well. Okay. For simplicities. Okay. Yeah, quantity. just to keep it consistent. Okay. Um now. Okay. Um, and you want to let people add an infinite number of items, right? You just, you want to, you don't want to return them to the main menu after add items, add I, after they add one item? Yeah. Okay. You so you probably you put a, to add as much. To so probably do a while true in, on top of this, just like you do with everything else. While true, while true. Which line should I start doing that? Line oh, at the very beginning, at the very beginning of add items. Okay, and you'll have to reformat the lines below it, of course, which is you can just select them and hit tab. No, well, not while through itself, because that that one has to be outside of that. Oh my bad. Okay, and now, now, uh, now you have to add that item to the array of items that you already have, which I think you're calling uh, inventory on line six. 
inventory. Yep. Okay. So now you need to do inventory dot append item. I think that's the correct syntax. Oh no, append a Paul Paul end. I think that's how you do it. Oh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, dot add something. Yeah, I don't know what that word. Um, okay, you'll, you'll have to. I mean, you'll have to. I could Google it, but you Google uh, add item to array Python, and it'll tell you. I forget how to do it. Add item to array Python. To array. No, it is a pen. Wait. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna screen share just to okay double confirm with you. I thought it was a pen, so maybe this is what it says. Um, yeah. If you're using array, use all right. But let's see how they're using it. So let's go to the let's see where they're actually give an example of it. Oh, here we are. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking it is. Okay. Maybe it's just, um, they it didn't do an automatic, um, didn't do an automatic, uh, uh completion for you. See. Okay. I think we're fine. We, let's just go ahead and do a pen. Like I, like I kind of wanted to do. Okay. A pen, a pen. Dot append uh, parentheses. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I thought it was. In fact, that's almost exactly what we're going to do. Inventory append item. Do I put a dot there? I forgot. Wait, append. Yeah, we're calling a method on inventory. It's an array, and we're calling a method on it. Append and then item. Okay. Um, well, I thought it would at least change to a different color to show that something's yeah, happening. Yeah, that's what's weird because it really should yeah. recognize append as a keyword. Um, yeah. I'm actually worried that maybe you need to import something to get that to work. But you shouldn't have to. I mean, it's 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 built in. Okay. Um, and let's see. Well, true. Da, 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 da. Item name. Um, you probably want to let them escape out of this while true loop. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a good way. I mean, the good way of doing this would be like item where you have item name, just put something like in parentheses or exit to exit or something on line 10. Well, okay, that part's fine, but what you're going to print out for them, where it says, um, I, instead of saying item oh. name, okay, we're going to say item name and then in parentheses or exit to exit or whatever, whatever thing you want to do to let them get out of this loop. To get out of this loop. So I would say like, when, when I say something like, uh, return or something or continue. Right, but you have to give them instructions because right now there's no way to get out of this loop. You have to tell them what they have to do to get out of this loop. So I would print, instead of item name, I would print item name parentheses or exit to return to previous menu or something. On line 10? Yeah, on line 10 where you're printing out the, uh, the, the input. So I basically add item next to the name here. That's it. No, no. Or do uh, I add a new new line? In the quotation marks, where it says item name. Yeah. Change that to item name parentheses 
or exit to exit or whatever whatever word you want to use to let them exit right here so i put like a parenthesis here mm -hmm. you mean here right and then just say or exit to exit exit to exit well they can type in a specific word if they don't want to add an item and they want to return back to the previous menu. So you could make that the word exit or stop or leave or whatever word you want to use there. Okay. Oh yeah, X would work, that's fine. X to exit. So what happens to the previous name equals input item name because now we've, or we've already overwritten it with x do i make another copy of this or is that going to affect anything no the, what, what's printed what's in the quotation marks for input is just what the user sees it doesn't really affect the variables or anything oh so i i'll just say like x to exit also oh, it is yes. to indicate the user like what should they press to exit yes. okay yes okay x to exit okay Oh, so that's what you mean. Okay. okay. And then the next line, you have to see if name is equal to X, you need to, you really do need to exit instead of asking them for cost price. Okay. So new line after line 10. If name equals X, basically if they've printed the, um, they've actually asked to exit. Remember it's equal, equal, and it's, it's the string X. Yeah, well, you put it in capitals there, so maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe be consistent there. And then colon return. So if they basically, if they print, if they put in an X instead of an item name, uh, then you will go back to what uh, the uh, previous menu. Okay. Let's try it out. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, let's try this. This should actually work. I mean, oh, it works. Okay, that actually works. That's nice. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Item name. Okay, so it just states it, right. but it doesn't so, update the inventory. Okay. No, it does actually. So hit X now to return. Oh wait, this? No, no, inside where you where you're typing now, and now say uh, get do a. Oh, how do you get out of this menu? Um. Oh yeah, can't really. Type, there's no menu type, to exit here. Yeah, you need an exit condition there. You can type X here, see what happens. It's probably going to just tell you invalid input. Oh, this goes yeah. back to the same. Yeah, we need we need a choice for exit if you don't want to do any of these things. Where's the code that I? Oh, okay. I'm way too I'm way too far down. Okay. Yeah. Choose Sad item exit. Okay. Long password turn. If this this this. Okay. If this this. I'm assuming. Ah, uh, okay. 